Hey, the Brave Master here, and this is gonna be another episode one <laughs> first impressions review. Yes, yeah, a show called Another, actually. So, you know, I'm not trying to like confuse anyone with the name. So, uh, yeah, this anime was. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's I know it's like a horror sci-fi thriller. I mean, not sci-fi. So it's a horror school slice of life kind of anime going on here. Something because I mean, this this shows like. Very interesting. I, I mean, I don't really know what to say. I, I took tabs on a lot of the names that were said in this na in this episode. So um, I hope I'm not gonna get confused here because there's a lot of there's a lot of names that were said in this episode. Um, so the main character, his name is um Sagaki Bara um Kochi or Kochi Kas Kasaki Bara is his last name. So uh, yeah um, it's apparently he was uh, there's some kind of like story going on because if you first see the episode, it um it explains the story of this girl named Asaki. And Masaki used to be part of the school, like, you know, was a regular or a school student, and she was, like, praised by everyone, and yada, yada, yada. But one fateful day, she ended up actually getting killed or something. Something went along that line. And and then so the school, you know, well, the teachers in the school, every, the school basically was like, oh, no, she's still alive. You know, just leave, just leave it there. Let's leave her, you know, desk right there. She's still alive. There's no need to worry. <laughs> and they even put her in the yearbook and all sorts of crap. And I'm like, Why? <laughs> I mean, this is, it just seems really crazy, honestly. So, uh, you know, we get that little, you know, side note in that story. So people, I guess people are like, don't really want to tell new students about it or something. So it's just, it's really interesting after that. But, um, so Gakabaro is apparently he got sick. Um, he, he has, a, um, a, like a, a ruptured lung or something like that. So, I mean, it happens to him. So he, ended, he had to go to the hospital. So he couldn't, t he couldn't actually go to school that for the, fir for the first day. And so then, um, the students that they came over, their names are, uh, let me see, um, kids, the, um, student council president is, uh, Kasami, um, uh, the, the other two girls in there, their names are, um, Sakuragi and Akizawa. So, um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're just greeting him and they're talking, basically he's just telling them all about his business and stuff, because apparently they all know, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I never, I, it must be because, you know, the kind of school, but it's just, you know, they know about all his business. It's like, oh, you know, your dad went to um, India to go research and stuff because his dad's at India and everything. And, um, yeah, and know about his mother. You know, they, they know about a lot of things. And then, uh, you know, they, they seem kind of unedged while talking to him. It's weird. And the way they're looking, it's just like, like, like they seem kind of bland or something. Something I'm seeing right about him. So, but, hey, I was like, okay. So after that happened, um, you know, he ends up actually getting better. He ends up going to, going to go, to go to school. He has a little cute pet name, um, pet named uh Ray, and he's like, "Wake up, Ray, wake up!" And he's like, "No, your name's not, your name's Ray." And he's like, "You feel better, okay?" And he's like, "Yeah, okay." I'm like, "Oh, I want a pet like that." But um, yeah, uh, so he ends up getting up. His father calls him, asking how he is, and you know all that good stuff. And then he's gotta go eat um breakfast. And then he goes to school, and then he writes his name on the board, and he, yeah, he just talks about how, how himself a little bit that he transferred just transferred here from Tokyo, and blah blah blah. So that you know he's a big like, you know, talker, I guess, because people want to talk to him because he's from Tokyo. So everyone starts talking to him in school, you know, after, after the bell rang and everything. He's like, "Hey, man, you from Tokyo? You're like, man, you must be different from over here. You're in a small town and stuff." And oh man, yeah, you know, we blah 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 blah. And as all that's going on, uh. Um, Sakagaki Bara noticed like in the, over in the corner that that desk was just there, sitting there, just just jacked up looking, and he was wondering what's up with that desk, but he didn't want to say anything because maybe he's just seeing things, or maybe you know, this is something, it's like you know, not, you're not really sure. So he's like, eh, nothing. He's like, because they're asking what if, if, if something wrong and stuff, and he, they started noticing like he noticed something. So um, yeah, he was going downstairs or doing something. He was going in the elevator, and then uh, he ends up you know, meeting this girl in there, and she has an eye patch on. And she's like, oh, he's like, oh crap, I'm sorry. And then he ends up asking some questions. He's wondering why we're going to the boiler. And um, apparently, and I was all thinking about that girl. I was like, that girl's probably that one dead girl, you know, named Re um, Masaki. And then she said, maybe Masaki. I was like, ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she's a girl that uh, apparently apparently died, maybe. It seems like it. And then, so she's, she's a girl that died and everything. And he's like, huh. You know, he didn't really know too, anything, too much about the whole story anyway, so he's not really sure. So, um... There's a lot of like speculation, mysterious stuff happening right on going on, and then uh, he talks to some other people, and some person had a heart condition, so he couldn't run if you like be on track team or whatever, and uh, you know he's not feeling so good, and then um, he meets this girl, the girl, um, uh, Sugar S Sugaragi, and uh, Sugaragi, she you know talked to him, and, she, and she's like, did you you don't know about this yet or something? He's like, and then he ends up um, asking Sugaragi about uh, Masaki Ray, and she's like, <gasps> don't, don't you see that? No. <laughs> 
So uh, she's all getting all scared, like, and everything. And so she's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Ooh, who's that? I don't know. <laughs> and so he ends up seeing uh, Masaki uh, May and up uh, in the you know on the, on the top of the roof in the school. So he ends up going all the way up there and talk to her, and talk to him. Oh, talk to her. I mean, and uh, he was wondering why you up here and stuff. And he's like, I don't like being questioned. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I wasn't trying to you know get anything out of you or anything like that. Cause he went to the boiler. And she, he was wondering why did she why did she go there and stuff. So um, she was just all saying to him like, you shouldn't be talking anymore. You know, the, you, you'll know soon enough about me. And he's like, why is no one talking? Like, you know, he's wondering what's going on and stuff. And he's like, you'll know soon enough. And she, then she asked, he asked another question. She said, you'll know soon enough. You'll find out everything apparently soon enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm conclusive as, as the main character. So I'm, I'm, I kind of like it. But I feel like I'm, it's not, I feel like this show is not going to be a show that's going to make me keep drawing. It's like going to draw me in. But, hey, it's 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 getting there to me. I, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's going to be a good series. But, um... Yeah, that was basically the gist of whole, all the episode and just, like, some mysterious stuff that's going on. So I'm curious what's going to happen next episode. Um, what I will say about the animation in the show, I was, I was going to give it a like, standard animation, but holy crap, the freaking the backgrounds, the, the scenery is amazing. It looks so real. Like, you watch the show, the scenery is amazing. The show has, like, five, I give it a five out of five stars. The scenery is, is just, it's stunning. It's, 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 it's I'm just, I'm just saying, you, you got to watch the show and you'll talk, you know what I'm talking about. The scenery is amazing. The characters are, are, are decent, but the freaking scenery just makes up for it. Like, oh, my God. You know, um, so, uh, yeah, the scenery, the story, I give it about, I give it about a four because it is unique. So I'm curious what's going to happen. Four out of five. So I'm curious what's going to happen. I might, I might boost up a little. Needs to five, five. It all depends on the story because I'm not, I'm not quite sure what, exactly what's happening, but this is, this, you know, this is mysterious, you know, horror stuff. So, uh, yeah. I like the show. I'm liking the show. I, I, I'm gonna keep reviewing it, so you know, I'll keep tabs on it. So if you wanna keep watching my adventures of the show, you know, leave, um, you know, subscribe to my channel to see all that. Um, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you like the episode? What do you didn't like about the episode? Do you like the scenery in the episode actually? Because oh my god, the scenery was, was amazing. And like if you like this review. Um, so it's been the Breakmaster, another episode one <laughs> for the special review. So we're saying that. And until then, break out.